Keep the Cat Falling for Autumn by Kimberly and James Dean. It is the first day of fall, and Pete the cat is feeling blue. I like summer better, he says. In summer, I can swim and surf and play at the beach. Maybe you just need to remind yourself of all the things you love about autumn, Mom suggests. Mmm, Pete says. I'll try. Pete finds Grandma in the kitchen. She's baking delicious pumpkin pies. The whole house smells sweet and spicy. Pete loves helping Grandma bake pumpkin pie, but he loves helping eat it even more. After the baking is done, Pete picks a squat orange pumpkin from the counter and slips it into his backpack as a souvenir. Next, Pete heads to the town corn maze. Pete and his friends wander through the long, twisty path made of tall corn stalks. The best part of the corn maze is getting lost and having to start over again. As he lives, Pete plucks a golden corn cob from the maze and places it inside his backpack. Then Pete visits Grandpa, who is knitting on the porch. Grandpa helps Pete use the knitting needles to knit the yarn into cool patterns. Together, Pete and Grandpa make a long cozy scarf for Pete to wear. When they're done, Pete chooses a little ball of leftover yarn and places it inside his backpack. Next, Pete goes to the hayride at the park. Pete, Bob, Mom, Dad, and Grandpa all pile into a wagon filled with hay. They go on a bumpy wagon ride around the park. At the end of the ride, Pete grabs a handful of sweet-smelling hay from the wagon and stuffs it into his backpack. Pete heads over to the apple orchard, where he and Callie go apple picking. They eat sweet apple donuts and drink hot apple cider and fill their buckets with apples of all different shapes and sizes. Before he leaves, Pete chooses a round red apple and drops it into his backpack. Next, Pete stops by the park. He plays touch football with Bob and their friends. Pete scores a touchdown and everyone cheers! After the game, Pete grabs Bob's football and stuffs it into his backpack. It barely fits. Bob won't mind if I borrow this, Pete says. Finally, Pete heads back home, but he stops in his front yard which is covered in bright leaves falling from the trees. Pete helps his dad rake the leaves into big colorful mounds. Then Pete runs and jumps into all the leaf piles. After he's done jumping, Pete picks a bunch of red and gold and orange leaves and stuffs them into his backpack. Pete's backpack is bursting with fall souvenirs. He can't wait to show mom. I love autumn, Pete says. 
Wonderful, says mom. You know, this would make great decorations for Thanksgiving. So Pete helps mom fill a basket with all his mementos. They place the basket at the center of the table. You did a great job, Pete, says mom. It's beautiful, says dad. Is that my football? asks Bob. Just then, the doorbell rings. The Thanksgiving guests are here. All of Pete's family and friends gather around the dining room table. They tell stories and laugh at jokes <laughs> while they eat. Yum, 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 yum. Everyone is having a great time. Pete looks around the table and smiles. He loves lots of things about autumn. But Pete knows what he loves most all year long. His family and friends. The end. And that's the story of Pete the Cat Falling for Autumn by Kimberly and James Dean.